Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. How are you doing today? I wanted to show you um, very quickly this darling simple card. Super simple card, easy, and you can make a whole bunch of them uh, for the birthdays you have coming up. And it's made with the beautiful friendship stamp set. This is a gorgeous stamp set. It's a distinctive stamp set, which means that the stamps themselves create these um, almost shadows, variegation. The stamps themselves make the flowers. Like here on this rose, look, all that different shading and everything was created by the stamp itself because it's called a distinctive stamp. So let's get started. Now this is a really easy card because it only takes one paper, and that's Whisper White. The card base today is 11 inches by four and a half inches, scored at five and a half, and it's a little different opening. Sometimes I like to use it. And we're gonna use one panel of Whisper White cardstock, and this is four by five and a quarter. Easy, that's all the paper we need. We're gonna use three inks, and today, instead of um, using here I used Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green and uh, Memento Black. But today I'm going to use, um, just for fun, to do something different, I'm going to use some Flirty Flamingo for the flower. Now I felt like this flower got a little bit low. I'd like to have it a little higher. Oh, and I wanted to show you, when we're using photopolymer stamps, we need to use um, a soft pad so they get a better impression. And this is my stamp and pierce mat, and I've just covered it with uh, a piece of the uh, Stampin' Up! grid paper that I've cut down, and you can see I've just taped it together, and it really keeps... Um, it keeps having from having impression, impressions and ink get on my stamp and pierce mat. So I'm going to hold this card up to make sure and see if I can get this a little bit higher with the flirty flamingo ink here. And I'm going to put it more like about right here. And I'm going to press down. Look at that impression. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it's all just from this distinctive stamp. Now I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Green and two of the leaf stamps from the set. And they are also distinctive. And I decided to put the leaf right in that little uh, corner right there, that little indentation that you can see um, from the ink. And photopolymer is great. We can see it. So I'm going to put that leaf right in there like that. Press. Okay. And then I'm going to use the smaller leaf stamp with just two leaves on it and I'm going to come out a little bit right here like that and I'm going to use one to come down and be sure I've got my ink on every area there okay and I'm going to come down from here okay that's it our stamping our color stamping is done now um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sentiment on. The birthdays are the best days. And to get that really straight, which I have trouble with, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. And this, I've, I want to show you, uh, the Stamparatus has terrific graph paper. It has a pad already under it for the photopolymer. This is some of the graph paper, and what I like to do is put a mark where I want my piece of paper to go. That way, if I want to do it a couple times, if I'd like to stamp a few cards, I always know where to put my paper. So I'm going to put it right there because I'd figured that out in advance. I'm going to set my magnets where I want them. And actually, I want one magnet I think I'm going to put down here. Now, I didn't I didn't set my stamp. This is the Birthdays Are the Best Days photopolymer stamp because I want to show you the photopolymers are the are so excellent for, for using when you're using the Stamparatus. I just love it. So I've got it lined up the way I think it should go. I'm going to press down and get the stamp on there. And it is sticking to the paper a little bit. Let me change this. Um, see if I can put my magnet there. No, I don't like that. Let's put it maybe over here and see if it will hold the paper a little better. Okay, and now I'm going to put on my ink, my um, Memento Black, 
and we usually like to put something underneath to make it even so that your ink doesn't get all over the your plastic plate here. So I'm putting the stamp case under there. I'm going to use my Memento black ink to just ink that up. And now I'll move it over a little bit more so you can see. And we're going to put that stamp down right there. Birthdays are the best days. Okay, that impression came out excellent. Sometimes you need to do it twice, but this one we didn't at all. And there's our card. Can you believe that? Now the only th other thing we need to do, if you want to and you don't have to, it's beautiful just like that, but I usually like to use a little, a little something to just, you know, give it a little more attractiveness. So I'm going to use a bit of white baker's twine. Now you can tie it in a knot if you like. The other one I tied in a bow. But we can also tie it in a knot if you if bows are hard for you. I, I'm going to just see if my bow will come out while I do it here. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. If it doesn't, I'll just do a knot. But let's see if I can get it to come out. And then you, it did. And then we're just going to pull these tight like this. And there's our cute little bow. We'll trim off the, the little edges. Isn't this just a quick card? And now all we need to do is use Stampin' Dimensionals to put it on the card base. Actually, I really am liking this Flirty Flamingo almost better than the Melon Mambo, which is one of my favorite colors. You can use as many Stampin' Dimensionals as you like. Sometimes I do put them over the... Baker's twine to make sure it sticks in place. I'm going to just use five dimensionals today. I'm just going to peel that the little papers off like that. I don't know about you, but I keep lots of extra dimensional packages around because I go through them pretty fast. Okay, let's lay this down. See if we can get it in the right place here the first time. Okay, there we go. There's your card. Is that cute? I just, it's a simple, quick card, and I really encourage you to get this beautiful friendship. If you like flowers, and I really do, you're going to love this stamp set. Be sure to check me out uh, at my blog, prettypapercards.com, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for coming by. See you later.